convoy. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words, the words. Convoy is a tactical roguelike inspired by Mad Max and FTL, which is an abbreviation of Faster Than Light, in which you cross a wasteland in search of parts for your broken ship. Presented in pixel art and set in a future post-apocalyptic setting, Convoy is a squad-based tactical combat roguelike in its core. So what is Convoy? Well, it's very much inspired by FTL, and you'll probably hear me mention FTL a lot in this review, but that's what the developer mentions as well. He's actually comparing it to FTL, and you'll find out why as I go through. This review is going to be in two parts. The first part is me comparing it to FTL, and the second part is I'm going to actually play the game just to show you certain aspects. So, we're going to start by just explaining what you have to do. You have to find parts for your spaceship. Your spaceship's crashed, and you need bits to get it back. You control an MCV. And you are in a totally open world. You can go anywhere you like from the get-go. Um, it's not much of a world to look at, but you can go anywhere you like. Now, in FTL, you had different uh, systems that you had to cross. Um, and you were always being chased. So, time was ticking. That clock was going all the time. Whereas in this, you can just take your time. There is no rush. You can hang around safe areas near bases and camps where it's safe. If you want, there is no rush. Whereas in FTL, you had that tick, 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 tick clock going all the time. You couldn't f*** about when you came to a system. You had to plot your route across, uh, working out whether you had enough fuel to get there, whether working out whether you could jump from planet to planet. That made that game really edge of your seat stuff. And I miss that in this. There is none of that in this game whatsoever, and that's a bit of a shame. One of the other big differences I noticed between this and FTL is the depth. This is nowhere near as deep as FTL. Um, you don't get that kind of... Uh, if, if you think about FTL, when the battles was going on, you had to move guys from different rooms. You had to boost stats. You micromanaged your power settings and all the rest of it, trying to divert power from engines to shields uh, or shields to weapons to get the killing blow. Then you'd get fire breaking out in different rooms and you had to rush guys from one room to another, put the fire out and all. It was just insane you get none of that with this game but you do get better combat you are you control the combat much more whereas an FTL it was you just kind of pressed the button and waited and hoped that it worked out well for you whereas in this game it's skill based it's that's the difference this requires a lot more skill in combat than FTL did FTL was very RNG this is not RNG one bit this is complete and utter skill. You can upgrade things, uh, but you don't have that level of micromanagement that you had in FTL. Um, so, just to give you the, a, a quick rundown, you control the MCV, you can go anywhere you want, and you do these the missions where you have to get these four parts for your ship. Now, each mission is in different parts. There's a, a lot of different difficulties for this game as well. And you get two escort vehicles to start with. And you can look, unlock more as you progress through the game. You also acquire more through quests. Or you can buy some in shops. And these are the ones that you control. This is how it's called convoy. Because you have a convoy of vehicles. And this convoy of vehicles will get attacked. And you have to fight for your life, basically. So, you can upgrade them. You can buy new weapons. You can buy utilities for them. Uh, and so on and so forth. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop into the game. And I'm going to finish the rest of the view, review live playing the game because you're going to need to see this to understand how it works and to see whether it's worth a buy. Right, I'm now in game, guys, uh, and I'm going to do this bit live and just show you uh, how the game actually plays, how you do it. But before that, we're going to have a quick look at the options. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so now we'll just continue the game. So this is me MCV, and these are my four escorts that I have. And you can see them here on the left-hand side. Of the screen that's that one that's what the screen light does it shows you which one's highlighted and the green circle is their range the range that they can fire so that's me the MCV insane dog you can change the names at the beginning of the game uh, this here these are the weapons equipped on my MCV it has four it has an EMP blaster it has a mine layer it has an HE missile launcher and a leech drone. So I'm going to open the map and we'll see where I am. 
So this is the world map. I'm at a camp at the minute. I'm going to enter the camp and show you what goes down here. So in the camp you can click repair and the currency is bolts. That's what you find. It's like scrap. So I think all my vehicles is pretty much full. They are more or less, more or less full. Um, so nothing to repair. Um, I can also, this is, this is my store here and in the store I can interchange weapons and equipment. I have a light pulse laser which does 8.3 DPS actually. I might put that on, oops, on here. Because this, I believe, has at the back a light machine gun that only does 7 DPS. So I'm going to bring that off. And I'm going to put a light pulse laser on instead. So this guy now has a light pulse laser on the back and a heavy beam laser on the front. He's kicking ass, this guy. Now in here you have your health armor handling range and your uh, mine guard. And you can buff these. Um, it, all, it all costs bolts. So what I would recommend you do, and you know this isn't a tutorial, is get your handling up. The handling allows for faster responses when you're actually in battle. So I'm going to confirm this and get back out. And there's my MCV. My MCV has an EMP blaster. I showed you all that anyway. And yeah. So let's go to the actual shop and see what's available. There's a Hyper Sky, it's another vehicle, so you can buy that if I want, but I'm, I'm pretty full at the minute. You only have four escorts, I believe. Uh, very important fuel, but I've got 98. That should be enough, so I'm not going to buy any fuel, though I am just going to buy a little bit. And there's no weapons or anything else available. I can sell that light machine gun, but I'm going to just hang on to it just in case something terrible happens and uh, I need it. So there we go, I'm going to leave the camp now and uh, we'll just head out onto the road. So these are your objectives. At the minute I'm doing the, well actually let's have a look which one am I going to do. The distance to do that mission is 299 kilometers. I'll choose the oh, flux capacitor. So I'm going to go and do this mission. So it's only 78 kilometers away and you can see the arrows pointing that way. So you just send him on your way. This is where the RNG happens with random events, but there's definitely going to be an event there. That's why it's an exclamation mark. So, uh, see what happens here. Right, okay. All right, so now I have one mission done now. That's what that means. Uh, I actually can go back to my ship with that so I might actually do that um, oops yeah I'm gonna take it to the ship I've never actually done this before so I don't know what happens when you do that oh something's happened this is a random event that happens a bit like FTL so I can, there's some privateers being bastards um, I can pursue them and stay out of sight track them down and engage they could be dangerous to try to avoid. I'm going to track them down and engage because I wanted to see a fight. And if I lose all my vehicles, I'll be f***ing pissed off. Prepare to fight! Now, what you do when you're fighting is... Oh my goodness! Pause the game. There's a lot coming in here. And the good thing about this game, as in FTL, is you can pause the game to work out what you're going to do. Um, one of the things I don't like about it is it's quite hard at first glance to see who's who. I mean, there's my three vehicles at the back and another one at the front. But once they start getting in among each other, uh, the only thing to differentiate between my vehicles and them are the little green ranks next to me vehicle as opposed to the ranks on his. Now, that's a nasty one, that. He's armed to the f***ing teeth and he's, uh, he's a hard case. I'm going to get this one. Actually, I'm probably, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Shall I just quit? I'm going to lose everything. This is bad. Calm down. I can do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all them three onto him. But the problem is there's line of sight in this. He's going to be in the way. So it's, it's a bit of a problem. Um, and I'm still a noob at this game. So this is pretty bad. Uh, I might have to go through that to get to that. This could end in, in, in a disaster. So first things first. I'm going to launch a missile at that. Now they've got shields up, so I'm going to secondly fire the EMP blaster at that, which will take down the shields. Then you, you are going to go and kick his ass. I'm going to move 
leaving them two on that track but I'm moving him to there and then to engage he'll go down quite quick you what can I, do? I don't know what can you do love uh, ironing maybe um, these have all got shields so you're just gonna have to just just come back a little bit we're gonna unpause and them events will take place and then we'll pause it and say what happened Take it. All right, he's down. Now, he's got leeches on him, so he's in trouble. I've got to get rid of this one now. Now, the EMP's recharging. It's not quite there yet, so it's pointless me really firing at that yet. Um, there's an exclamation mark here. Now, what that tells you is that there's a hazard on the route, and you've got to pay particular attention. It's probably a mine. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to unpause it and I'm going to wait for this EMP to be done and then everybody's going to get into that. I'm going to move them in position. I'm going to move him right out there so he's right behind them and then we'll see what happens. Right, it's debris on the on the road there, you see? So I'm going to move him back to here. He's going to hit it. He's just hit it. Right, EMP's ready. So fire at that. Fire at that. Fire at that. Fire at that, fire at that. He is going to get ripped. There he goes. Alright, this isn't going very well. Um, there's a hazard down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move him to there to try and block him in that hazard. And you are going to fire at him. You are going to fire at him. Now he's out of range, so I'm going to have to move him up. And I'm going to move him to there hey. he's in range Hi. ah he's going to get out of that which is a bit of a shame right get ready there's a big hazard now that's a death hazard so I'm going to use this to my advantage watch this there's, there's some rocks here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that in line with that I'm going to put him back safely there but I'm going to ram that into this whatever it is using this if you know what I'm saying but in the meantime, that's going to be... Right, that's charged. So I'm going to charge... <laughs> it's all go. I'm going to fire me EMP at him. Get him to engage. Can we let it go a bit more? Get that down there to engage that as well. And put him there. Right, now he's got to be careful here. There's real hazards ahead here. There they go. Now watch. He's going to ram him into that. No, he's not. It didn't work. Oh, it didn't work because he's higher rank than him. Shit. This is bad. This is bad. Right, get up there and attack. You move down there and finish him off. This is all going ter terribly bad. Uh, I need him down there as well. Yeah, he's dead. He's going to go down. He's dead now. All right. You fire at that. With that. And fire that. At that you kill you kill you kill that's it kill it kill them kill them kill them quick there's death on the road guys you get back there you get back there you get back there all right shit mate get 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 there get there get there get there get there that's it Oof, we just got out the way we would have been raped off that now there's more death there's loads of death on that road I'm not gonna even attempt to stop it so what I'm going to do is we're going to fire at that. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. You're going to attack. He's going to go. 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 Oh, see it by the building there. He's down. He's down. He's down. And that's one fight. That's one fight. We took... I mean, I'm a bit of a noob. I'm still learning. But we got all this out of it. Take the loot. Open the map. Now, I mentioned in uh, FTL that you're not chased by the clock all the time you can do what you want so i'm going to go back to camp and repair there's no real need for me to push on with that mission so i mean i normally i would would but i'm just showing you that you know for the sake of it you can just go back and repair if you have a bad fight you can just go back and repair or, or go back and buy stuff so going back to the camp and uh hit the repair mcv back to full all these back up there we go all done and and that's the game the combat's really good fun 
Um, it's it is difficult. It's brutal this game. I mean, it took me about ten goes just to get these four vehicles, uh, and I'm really carefully looking after them now. So there you go. That's the game. It's it's a fun game. It's nine ninety nine at the moment. It'll probably come down in price. Um, in fact, it will. It's not as good as Faster Than Light, be simply because you don't have the depth that you have. You don't have the excitement that you have. Um, but it is still a very good game. It's a finished game as well. It's very frustrating and very brutal and I'm on easy. I mean it goes another three settings above easy. You're going to get your money's worth out of it. If you like Faster Than Light you're going to like this. It's not as good but it is a good game all the same. So I'm going to give it the thumbs up. Uh, Convoy is worth a buy. Uh, if you like Faster Than Light you're going to like this.